We have his hand to the hip. I'm going to control the same side that, that he has his foot on front. I'm going to control his wrist. As soon as I control his wrist, I'm going to step. And as soon as I step, I'm going to go to the arm drag. As soon as I go to the arm drag, I'm not just trying to hold. I'm not trying to transition. I'm going to try to just pull him. And the drag is not just going to come like from my arm, but most like on my weight. So I have this. So my weight is going to just kind of stay, 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 stay. My weight is going to kind of make it come forward. At the same time that I come forward, I'm going to start to aim for his leg. So he has that go to his leg. I let go his arm. I go to his leg. But if you just go to his leg, maybe he's going to run for you. If I just go to his leg, maybe he's going to run for you. I end up not getting to his leg. So I have to make him he kind of away from me. So what I'm going to I'm kind of foot tripping on the other side. I use my foot to kind of trick him. I don't know if everybody saw, but as soon as I pull, that foot kind of trip him. He keep, he's still keep going, but I feel like I can catch a little bit more on time. So look for both wrists. As soon as I get the control of the from the same side of his leg, I step. As soon as I step, I'm not throwing his, his arm. Drag him down. I'm dragging down and I try to catch the other foot. As soon as he passed through me, pass, pass, I cut through his leg. From his leg, I'm gonna just finish you with like a normal single leg. Run the pipe. One more time. Let's go try guys. Guys, the goal was just get to the other person, just to get a hold of him. Maybe if I just take a shot, he just hit, 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 hit the defender. So he start from here. And then I'll go to the leg. Once he kind of like pulls his arm, once he kind of get out, so I just go to the leg, right? But if you get to one point, if he's dry, and he let you make a, a very good grip on the he let you make a very grip on his arm. He didn't pull his arm. And then you were able to really kind of get his hands to press the mat, step him up. That meantime, you make to his back on time. You, instead of going to his leg, you make to his back. And the point is, if you pull his arm and start running, you cut the leg. If you get his hands to touch the floor, before he comes up, you go to his back. So that's, that's the idea. So I look this. So instead of him run, you already start to come up. Hand goes right away. So if he drop, if he fall, if he get close to you on the ground, if he comes up, put your arms up. If he doesn't go forward, and you know like you have the leg, but if you feel like he fell close to you on the ground, if you feel like he can't kind of like, you go to his leg. Any moment he drop, you don't go to the leg, any more like he's saying touch the floor, you keep his arm because like he didn't pull his arm, so you don't like go his arm either. Before I kind of like go the arm and I just kind of put my hand on the floor. If his hand touch the floor, now I keep his arm and this hand instead of go to his leg, go over his back. My hand is not touch the floor. The hand that was under his armpit goes over the shoulder and then obviously like stand up. You're probably gonna end up kind of climb his back from there. Maybe he rolls with you, maybe he fall with you on his back, but he, he just, maybe he's not. He already fell from you, you trip his foot and he just collapsed a little bit on the floor. Once you climb, maybe you guys just keep rolling. If he's strong, maybe he stand up and you just keep climbing his back. But the idea is like, a, as his weight goes down, you don't go to his leg anymore, you go over the shoulder. Who's on, who's on top, guys? Who's on top? Who's on top? Uh, Who is getting your back take? Make sure you keep a strong base in case the other person jump over your back. So make sure once once you're gonna go on your back, keep your hand on the floor. If your hand is not on the floor anymore, keep your your leg kind of buried on the ground. Because when he jump, you don't want to just kind of follow him. So I have this. As I make this belt, I can start work to put the bolts now. 
Even if I don't put the second hook, I can force it to roll with me and then I get the second hook. Most important, let's get the seat belt first. As soon as you get the seat belt, keep your chest lined up with your shoulder and maintain the seat belt. That's the most important. And then we put the hooks after. 